don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively if you would like to you can purchase the whole course on Udemy there should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course which should always provide the best price in the video description. In this tutorial I want to provide a gentle introduction to anyone who's new to Django models migrations and the Django admin. I will try and keep it nice and brief but just to give you some visuals which we can then make as the starting point for our learning journey and then build upon as we work through this module. What you're looking at here is a Django model. So a model in Django is a class in actual fact. So we are working in the realms of Python object oriented programming. Now, before you pause and take a course in object oriented programming, there is no need for that. I will present the content in this course with a general understanding that you may not be familiar with object oriented programming. If you are new to object oriented programming, think of what we're doing here in Django as building certain patterns. So my hope is that you can follow the patterns that we are developing and then maybe over time learn more about object oriented programming. In real terms, what we're building here is a database table. This is the database table name. These are the fields that we're going to be building and creating in our database table, in this case, the category table. Now, every table in a database has a field and associated to that field is a data type. So this defines the type of data that we're going to be storing, in this case, in the name field of the category table. There are multiple data types and I will direct you towards some resources which is going to help you learn and familiarize yourself with the different data types. So there are multiple tables that we're going to be building or multiple Django models that we're going to be defining first. And like I said, these Django models will turn into database tables. So let's see that in action. So the second phase of this course, we will learn about the Django migrations, which is a way of synchronizing and managing our models to ensure that our models reflect the state of our database. So we want to make sure throughout the lifespan of our Django project, what we define in our models is reflected in our actual database. There is a lot to learn about migrations and we'll start that process in this module. But in order for us to actually create our database tables, we need to run the make migrations first. And then once that's completed, we then go ahead and run the second command, which is migrate. And that will then actually apply what we've defined here in our models into an actual database. And this is our database here. Now, as I already advised, there is a extension called SQLite, which you can install which will allow us to inspect the database. So I can right click, open the database, and then I can start to view inside of this database that we've just created through our Django models. Down here, you can see the infantry product category tables. So if I close that, go into infantry models, just to show you how this correlates. So this is a category table that we've defined or category model that we've defined. It has a name, slug, is active parent field. If I go down here to the actual database, so I'm inside of a database. I take a look at the tables and you can see those tables uh, fields, sorry, reflect what we have defined here in our Django model, including an ID field, which we haven't defined, which Django automatically builds. Now, of course, there isn't any data in our database. So if I show the table, you can see that there is no data at the moment. So the first, the third step or section in this module, I'm going to teach you how to add some data into the database through the Django admin site. The Django admin site is a very convenient way to add and manage data in your database. So this is the categories table that we have just created in the database. So I can go ahead in the Django admin and start to add some categories. Add save. And there we go. So we've added the first record in the category table. If I now go back into the SQLite Explorer 
and then do a refresh and right click and show table again you can now see the data that we've just added into the database so hopefully that snapshot really highlights the three main areas of this module learning how to build models which will ultimately become tables in our database managing those tables and updating those tables using the migration system the django migration system and then finally looking at the django admin site to add and manage our data in the database